everyone, Captain Vince here. So today we are taking a look at Ultimate Traffic Live. Ultimate Traffic Live is a relatively new traffic add-on that has the very neat feature of generating real-time live traffic. This means that if an aircraft departs San Francisco in the simulator, it is also departing San Francisco in real life, which is very cool. In this video, I'll take a first look at the aircraft models, but most importantly for today, I'll show you my settings for UTL and help you get set up properly. Keep in mind that UTL is still a work in progress, according to the devs, and so updates are coming out on a regular basis. But just before, allow me to take a few minutes of your time. Hey guys, Vincent or Captain Vince, whatever you prefer. And so I would just like to take a few seconds of your time to talk to you guys a bit more about myself. So very quickly, I'm currently studying in Ontario, Canada at a college and I'm doing a Bachelor of Aviation Technology degree as well as my ATPL. So that's what you call an integrated ATPL. And so as you might imagine, it's a very intensive program. But I love YouTube, I love creating content for you guys to either entertain you guys or help you guys. And so I'm not planning to stop anytime soon. But um, as you can also imagine, every little bit of support is crucial to me. And the best three ways to support me is to like my videos, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and leave a comment, whether it is a constructive comment or just a thank you comment, it's always appreciated, the engagement is always appreciated. But there's also a fourth way to help me, and this is a very amazing gesture if you do so, but I've recently enabled YouTube sponsorship, and it works basically like Twitch subscriptions. You, it's a monthly occurring uh, subscription, and you can cancel at any time, and it, uh, it basically sub directly supports the channel. And what this would enable me to do is bring you more diversified content, uh, bring you videos upon releases of new add-ons, and so on. Just support me on a day-to-day -day basis. And so again, um, the best three ways to support the channel are to subscribe, like, and comment. If you wanna go the extra mile and it's not required at all, but it would be truly appreciated, uh, you can go uh, on YouTube Gaming and uh, you'll see a little support button and you can uh, subscribe uh, pretty much, sponsor the channel. And I'll leave the links down below. It's on YouTube Gaming, it's a new platform. Not many of you guys know it, but it's quite neat for games. So at the same time, you can check it out. I personally use it and I like it. And so, yeah. So back to the video, guys. All right, guys, so here is Ultimate Traffic Live. This is the main application. And so you'll be uh, setting up Ultimate Traffic Live from this um, application. And so the first thing you get is your dashboard, which is pretty logical. And so the dashboard just displays a summary of what you've got going with Ultimate Traffic Live. So I'll skip over the dashboard uh, because it's not really necessary to talk about it right now since we don't really know what it means. So let's jump um, to simulation tab. And so um, in this tab, you can pretty much um, just set up uh, your uh, flight map and uh, set up your traffic display settings. So it says simulation, but it's more of a, a page for your flight map during the game. And um, so what you can do here is display your status board and flight map times in 24 hour format if you wish to do so. Uh, you can also uh, set your simulation starting time. Um, so if you don't want to be flying, let's say, um, at this very exact moment, you can set up your starting time. But it will also modify within when, if you change your time in the simulator. So I wouldn't really touch that. Um, it j just does it automatically when you change your simulator time. So uh, you also have a flight map drawing presets, so you can check and uncheck what you want to be displayed on the flight map. Here for the traffic display settings, 
pretty much the same thing as the flight map drawing presets. You can choose what traffic is displayed on the flight map. And so you can check and uncheck to display domestic flights and international flights. But I don't see why you would want to uncheck these, but it's according to your own personal preference, of course. And you can fine tune what you want to see or not see. Personally, I don't really touch that. Um, I don't think you need to. Um, I like to use the flight map to its full extent. Then you can uh, pretty much enter your starting location. So let's say we want to start from Montreal. Uh, you can type in uh, Montreal here and save your settings. So uh, the next time you start your simulator, the flight map will display Montreal, will be centered on Montreal and all the good uh, traffic will be there as well. But you don't, again, you don't really need to do that. I personally don't really use the flight map, but it's a quite, uh, it's quite a neat little feature that we will look at a bit later. Okay guys, so before going any further, I wanna show you a bit what Ultimate Traffic Live looks in the game and also what the flight map looks like. But just before that, uh, this is crucial. I've read a lot of things uh, on Facebook and on forums that people are still seeing, you know, your classic pre prepared traffic. Well, guys, you need to turn off this traffic. Uh, this has to be turned off. Airline traffic density to zero, general aviation traffic density to zero. Ultimate Traffic Live has its own uh, client that generates its own traffic. So you don't need, you need to have this off. It doesn't work like other AI traffic add-ons, so make sure you have this turned off. Okay, so here is the flight map. We are currently at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, and uh, this is all the traffic that is going on in the world at this very moment in the simulator. Isn't that crazy? That's why Ultimate Traffic Live is awesome. It's not perfect, it's still a beta, but it's awesome. Look at this, guys. So. Uh, how you navigate in the flight map is by right-clicking. So you move uh, the cursor by right-clicking. Um, it's not the most convenient way, but you know what, it does the job. To zoom in, you hold your right-click and you scroll uh, to zoom in. And so let's go, oh, let's try to do that. Let's go to Paris. As you can see, it's a bit choppy, but we are getting there. And so this is all the traffic that is, uh, that's all the traffic sur surrounding us right now. So I've selected uh, this one, which is an Airbus A380 Qatar Airways that departed Paris at 4 p.m. Uh, en route to Qatar, Doha. So that's pretty cool. It gives you, um, and underneath here, it gives you all the aircraft it's currently generating, so 18,000 aircraft, uh, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, so you get this flight map, very cool. And you also get your status board, which is also very, very cool because it's real time. And so you can find any airport. I've entered Paris here. And as you can see, we get all the uh, aircraft. Uh, that are departing from Paris and you can also get the arrivals and you get even if it's uh, you know if it's at the gate if it's arriving if it's delayed because yes delays are actually simulated in ultimate traffic live isn't that awesome so uh, it's I mean you might think it doesn't serve any purpose but it adds this extra layer of realism according to me and uh, that's why I love it so much and that's why I hope it just gets worked on and improved and improved I think it has a very bright future and I think you guys should definitely check it out alright guys so here is the statistics page and so on the statistics page you get pretty much uh, all the statistics you need from the real world flights that are going on uh, right now and uh, you can choose uh, hourly statistics daily and weekly so if we look at weekly statistics uh, as you can see 100% were world flights I guess when we'll have flights to Mars <laughs> this will be different but for now I can believe that 100% of the flights 
were on planet Earth. And so, as you can see, these are the amount of domestic flights, the amount of international flights, the amount of airports that were used, and the amount of airlines that flew. Yet also a breakdown, so we have 65% of those flights that were domestic and 35% that were international. Now, uh, where it gets even more interesting is when you zoom in a little. So let's say we want to check at the uh, United States. So what you can do is right click on the United States. Let's zoom in a little with the mouse wheel. And let's, um, let's, check, out, let's check out Boston. And so if, for example, we want to check out some statistics from Boston, you simply right click on Boston and you can see all the flights that are uh, departing Boston, which is, it's a neat feature. And then you get the breakdown as well. So KBOS, Logan International Airport, uh, 3000 domestic flights, 522 international flights. And remember, this is a weekly statistics and uh, 47 airlines, 48 uh, type of aircraft, 85% were domestic, 15% were international, and we can also check your daily uh, flights. Um, and so it's going to be displayed as a map right here. So uh, Tuesday we had 461 uh, domestic flights and 68 international flights for a grand total of 529 flights. So again, you can play with that. Uh, it's mostly for your own entertainment, but it's very neat. It's very cool. Uh, if we go to Australia, you can uh, check the statistics and so on. So again, very cool. This is the statistics page and you can also check uh, by airline. So if we go to Air France, we can check all the Air France flights that happened this week. So that's pretty insane. Uh, 1,600 domestic flights, 3,400 international flights, 152 airports, and 13 aircraft. And so that's uh, that's the aircraft model. Uh, I would hope so. Uh, that's not the amount of aircraft. It's the aircraft model. So yeah, just play around with this. Very neat. Very cool. All right, guys. So now the configuration page is probably the most important there is. Here on the aircraft tab, you can pretty much set your um, aircraft selection for the aircraft, for the AI traffic that is being displayed. So for example, for the Airbus A380, uh, this is, uh, it's gonna be using the Ultimate Traffic Live model. So um, again, uh, if you wanna tweak that, it's up to you. If you have custom models as well, you can uh, use those. I know you can buy some AI traffic models, so you can go to manufacturer and just select the AI traffic model you bought and use that instead by assigning the aircraft and removing the old one. Now the flight sim tab here is where um, it gets interesting uh, for you guys. So here is where you can uh, pretty much um, select your AI traffic density. So these are my settings. I use 100% airline density and 10% general aviation density. Now, Ultimate Traffic Live has a bit of an impact on your performance. So this is where you can really fine tune according to your settings. Um, I would recommend not going under 70. Uh, it gets a bit empty, but uh, Anything above 70%, you get uh, quite decent traffic. I leave my airline traffic to 100% as it's the most realistic there is. So here you can tweak the aircraft contrail length. This is very cool because Ultimate Traffic Live includes contrail for the traffic. Uh, so I have mine set up at 60 seconds. Underneath you have your aircraft label options. Personally, I don't use labels. I uh, just find it more realistic to fly without labels, but you can pretty much um, select check and uncheck what you want displayed on the labels. Uh, so you can, I guess it could be cool to have the, the labels to know uh, which aircraft uh, you're flying with, uh, what's the t traffic, but again, I don't use it. 
but it works pretty much like in the simulator where you can select and uh, select the cycle delay and just uh, check and uncheck what you want to be displayed. Now the AI aircraft tail numbers, this I don't really touch but you can uh, modify the tail numbers of the aircraft. Now the traffic tab uh, also is quite important. So in game, as I'm going to show you in a few seconds, you can increase the traffic density or decrease the traffic density and reset ultimate traffic life. So that's very, uh, that's very neat. You can do that in game with these shortcuts or you can also use the in game um, selection tab. And underneath you have your traffic generation options. So. Um, let's say I have my uh, FPS set up at 20. This means that the no ultimate life traffic will be displayed if my frames are below 20. That's a very neat feature because as I've told you previously, uh, ultimate traffic life can be a bit hard on your system depending on the density. And so if you're already running below 20 frames per second, ultimate traffic life will not spawn AI aircraft which is uh, I think is a very neat feature so again you can customize that to your own liking uh, 20 fps seems reasonable to me now the maximum altitude ground aircraft visible so above 18,000 feet you will not be seeing any aircraft on the ground uh, I think that's fair enough uh, at 18,000 uh, feet you don't really need to see them uh, but then again, you can really modify that as you wish. So this is uh, where you select the maximum distance your aircraft can see traffic. So 25 nautical miles is fine with me. And then the maximum aircraft to spawn, I have mine set on 300. One thing I would like to mention to conclude is that yes, the liveries are not all up to date. Air Canada doesn't have the new livery, uh, some air airlines don't have their new liveries but it's getting there guys it's been updated it's been worked on and i believe they can get it right um, very soon but there's still quite a nice uh, variety of liveries which is very cool and um, as you can see the new american airlines livery is there air canada uh, the new livery is not yet there but it's uh, going to be coming soon and again, as mentioned, you can use your own uh, presets in Ultimate Traffic Live. But I like their models, they're fine, they don't hit too hard on the FPS, and they just make for a very immersive experience. So again guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, again, thank you for your ongoing support, the channel is doing very well um, at this very moment, and I hope we can continue on this upward climb okay guys catch you in the next video bye bye